buddy, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Hey, I've got a bass that I know you probably have never, ever, ever seen before. However, when I tell you about this bass, you're gonna go, no, did he really get one of those? What we have today is a made in Japan 1967 Avalon AV2 Shags bass guitar. Now, who is Shags? All right. You know what? I was really surprised. I had to look it up. Uh, I've sold, let's see, one, two, I think I've sold three or four of the six string shaz, shag guitars. I didn't even know they made the bass. Well, all of a sudden my uh, uh, finder down in uh, uh, Virginia says, how would you like to have a shags bass? I go, yes, absolutely. All right, you have to Google the Shags band, okay? It was three sisters, their, I think their father made them uh, take up guitar, and they bought these guitars uh, from the local music store. Uh, they were selling Avalons. They only made them in 1967 and 68. So the band was probably around that same time, maybe 69, but they were terrible. <laughs> I mean, they put out two albums, and um, it was unbelievable. I had all these people saying, oh, you know, these, these guys are unbelievable. And it's like, yes, they are. They're unbelievably terrible. Uh, if you're still around Shags Girls, I'm sorry to be saying this, but I think you would admit too, it had to be some kind of a joke, but they put out two albums and there's like this cult following of, of people who know Shags. Matter of fact, I was talking to one of my uh, 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 neighbor's kids the other day and we were talking about the Shags. He goes, oh yeah, I know one of the songs from the Shags. And he's like 12 years Years old. I couldn't believe it. So Google Shags and you will know what we're talking about and they play these Avalon guitars. Now the good news about it is uh, just because it's a Shags guitar doesn't mean it's a lousy guitar. These are really really well made instruments. Uh, they're made by Fuji Gen uh, in Japan and they use some very high quality materials on them and some very good uh, uh, parts on it. Uh, now like I said the, uh, the, the Shags uh, six string look just pretty much like this. Uh, only smaller, of course, but it had the same headstock design, and that's really the only thing I need to point out is it did get a really good bang uh, on that headstock, and, and we uh, we stabilized it. Our, our tech said, I want to put some super glue in there just so it won't get any worse, and uh, it, it just... The thing is so big, I'm sure someone was on stage and turned and it just banged into the top of the, uh, the stage uh, uh, ceiling. But it, uh, that's the only thing that I could find that was bad on it. It was missing a uh, uh, thumb rest, which, uh, or a finger rest, which we put one on. We had one I've been saving for a, for a bass. This thing is, is all original. It's got original tuners. It's got uh, original strap buttons. It's got original pickups, the, the dual pickups. I think they made a single pickup. I think I saw a single pickup up model out there uh, in the Shags base and which makes this one even more rare it's the it's the dual pickup model and uh, it's even got I mean look at this it's got the bridge cover I mean I could not believe this base now it's got uh, two pickups you go between the pickups by this little switch and I will tell you it's probably not the best design uh, we cleaned and cleaned and cleaned it, uh, the connections on to make sure it worked as well as it possibly could but I will tell you that it may be glitchy okay it's a little old plastic piece we're on the the neck pickup right now you go to this middle position oh that's cool um, that's now both pickups together As you can tell, I'm not a bass player, but I can get around a bass, okay? Uh, but anyway, uh, that's the both pickups together, and then you push it all the way down, and now you're on the back pickup. Wow, oh, those pickups sound really good.
Now I'll tell you the pickups are a little noisy. We actually turned the volume down on this because uh, they got a little noisy uh, pushing and they, they push these pickups pretty hard uh, and you'll get a little single coil noise out of your amp. So just be aware that they are single pickups and you'll pick up some things like all the old single um, pickup, uh, single coil pickups do. Uh, and what else can I say about this guitar? I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. We went through it completely. I think we probably changed out the uh, input jack, which we typically will do. I mean, those just get old. And last thing I want to do is ship a guitar to Europe and have the guy say, oh, it doesn't work. You know, it's like, I don't want to hear that. So we will replace usually on these older guitars, especially the main Japan ones, because a lot of the parts are just not as strong as a CTS input jack would be. So we'll spend the money and put in a new jack. But other than that, I believe it was just all original. Uh, they didn't replace any pots or anything. There was no need to. Uh, there is some finished crazing on the back. You can see it right in here. Boy, that's flamey. Look how flamey that is. Uh, but there's some finish crazing in here, which is really typical more of Vox guitars uh, and uh, um Oh, the Italian guitars, they sprayed their finishes very heavy and you'd get these real heavy finish uh, crazings in there. That is actually only in the finish. It is not in the wood. So uh, you'll see that in some of these heavily sprayed instruments. There's some here, there's some here. Look at this, it's got all the covers and everything. Wow, this is such a cool bass. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've ever played a bass uh, for a demo without ever using a pick. I must be becoming a bass player. What do you say, guys? No, I'm not. So anyway, this is such a cool, cool bass. And I was happy to tell you that I had a made in Japan case that fit it perfect. This is not the original case. I will admit that right now. When I got it, I got it in a brand new case, which was nice of them to send that to me in. Uh, and how would you know what this guitar came in? I mean, it's like, you know, it's hard enough to find them. However, I went through all my stash and I was looking around and I went, wait a minute. I think I remember, uh, you know, this shape is what they used for the made in Japan uh, uh, guitars. And a lot of the uh, uh, guitars that uh, we have have this case and it's very identifiable uh, by uh, everything in here as a made in Japan case for those uh, lawsuit guitars. So I put it in there, I held my breath, I set it down in there and I went, oh, please be long enough. And it was, uh, it catches it right at the very top, but it fits in there very, very nicely. It was wide enough. Uh, the case is actually really, really nice for as old as it is. The only thing that's uh, bad about it is the back restraint strap has come loose. I have not figured out a way to fix those, so you'll have to figure that out yourself. But the padding is still good. Uh, the plush is still good. The uh, accessory box is still in it. All the latches are in it. The original handle is still on it. Uh, there's a little bit of pulling here. Uh, I tried to re-glue this down and I couldn't get it to stay, so maybe you'll have better luck. But it's got all your latches. They work great. It's got the original handle. That's really a cool handle. Um, and a nice black case. Hinges are on it. And it is a genuine made in Japan, period correct uh, guitar case. And that Avalon Shags bass fits it perfectly. So I'm happy to ship this with the guitar. So check out Shags Band. I'm telling you, you have to Google them. They are uh, um, really not very good, but they are, they are very kitschy, okay? So uh, check them out. And there's a huge following uh, for Shags. And I'm sure one of the guys I sold the Shags guitar to is probably uh, uh, reaching out to me right now as soon as he sees this on, uh, on YouTube saying, Mike, I want that bass to go with my guitar. So it won't last long. You better grab it quick. Uh, check it and all of our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com. And you know what? We've got uh, really a huge following now in our YouTube channel. And if you would like to be part of our following, all you got to do is hit subscribe. What you get when you hit subscribe is every week you'll get in your email, hey, there's another Lawman Guitars demo. So we do these weekly now. So you will never be uh, uh, jonesing for a demo for uh, Lawman Guitars as long as you hit that subscribe. So hit that. Check out lawmanguitars.com. We appreciate that. And hey, I really, really appreciate you all watching my demos. It means a lot to me. Thank you very, very much.